We're gonna begin by adding some water and hairspray to the hair, so that way it's a little bit neater as we begin to make the ponytail. Make sure that you use a brush that has tight bristles so that way the hair is slick. Make sure you add hairspray as you go, especially if you see some hairs begin to stick out a little bit. I normally like to brush, add hairspray, and then brush again to make sure that the hair is as slick as possible. Make sure that you use a thick elastic that's the color of the hair and tie it as tight as possible. And of course, we're gonna wrap this up with hairspray, hairspray, and more hairspray. Next, you're gonna lift the ponytail and you're gonna hairspray beneath the ponytail so that way no hairs are sticking out. And more hairspray. <laughs> and of course, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a second elastic and you are going to tie it around the ponytail one more time so that it's as tight as possible. And once again, we're gonna add more hairspray. Not only so that the hair looks slick and clean, but also to add grip for the hairpiece. If the hairpiece is put on and the hair is too soft, it's gonna slide right off. So make sure you add hairspray so that there's grip and we don't have any accidents on stage. And there you go, here's an up close look. No hair sticking out, everything's nice and tight. And there's tons of hairspray for grip. Now we're gonna move on to making the braid. You're gonna hairspray the hair of the ponytail so that as you're braiding, the braid is nice and neat. When you braid, make sure that the braid is nice and tight. If the braid is too loose, the bun is going to fall apart. The tighter, the better. And then grab an elastic to tie the end. And of course, we're gonna hairspray the braid beneath and also around. And there it is, make sure that it's nice and tight, nice and neat, and that there's hairspray, especially because what's coming up next is the bobby pins. If the braid is too soft, the bobby pins are gonna slide right out. Make sure you use medium size bobby pins. You don't wanna use some that are too big or too small. Um, the small ones will not work because they'll slide right out and the big ones will stick out. So make sure it's a good size. I suggest a medium sized bobby pin. When we start making the bun, we're gonna bobby pin as we make the bun. Do not make the bun and then pin because then what's gonna happen is the bun's gonna turn out either too pointy or it's gonna fall apart. As you can tell, I'm not using just one or two or three bobby pins. You have to use about 15, 20 to make sure that that bun is hard as a rock and that nothing falls apart when the person dances. Once the bun is nice and round and secure, of course, we're gonna add more hairspray. And there it is, up and close, nice and round, not pointy. We want a flatter bun and we want a round bun. Make sure it's not falling apart. Next, we're gonna put on the bun cover. When you put on the bun cover, make sure that the ties are up at the top. You're gonna make a nice little bow and then you're gonna tuck in anything that's sticking out. Once you tuck everything in, grab some bobby pins and pin the bun cover to the bun. All 
Alrighty, we're almost done. All we have left to do is to add more hairspray. Make sure that it's slick, everything's nice and neat. And you might wanna shake your head to make sure that it passes the shake test. Now it's time for the hair piece. Hair pieces are normally put on the left side. Make sure that you put it in to your hair and maybe all the way into the bun. Before you get on that stage, make sure that you put bobby pins, not just one, put multiple. In this case, I put about four or five. I'd like to give a shout out to Miss Gabriela Campos, member of Ballet Folklorico Los Angelitos. If you like this tutorial, make sure to visit my online school at Carelli School of Folklorico, www.schooloffolklorico.com. See you next time.